You have most probably heard the story about Jesus when he died on the cross, but have you ever wondered why? What was the reason that he died and then rose again? It does sound very strange, really, but it all happened for a very good reason. The story goes like this. Jesus and his disciples were traveling to Jerusalem to celebrate Easter. On their way there, Jesus told them that he was going to die and rise again. He knew this had to happen because it was very important for us as people. What happened after this was that Jesus and some of his disciples went one evening to a garden that was called Gethsemane. Jesus knew that this was right before he was about to be captured. It wasn't very easy for him. That's why he really needed to pray to God for a mighty strength to be able to handle what was going to happen. Jesus didn't pray to God to ask not to die. He trusted God and allowed him to decide. And he knew that now was the time that he was going to do something that would save mankind. While they were in the garden, Judas and a group of angry people suddenly arrived. The angry group of people took Jesus with them and placed him in front of a judge. They started to say things about Jesus that were not true. They were actually really jealous of Jesus. They were jealous that so many people wanted to listen to what he said and spoke about. They were so angry that some of them started to hit and beat Jesus. In the end, the people decided that Jesus was to be executed. He had to die. So the soldiers took Jesus away to crucify him. But firstly, they really bullied and mocked him. They made him wear a red cloak and a crown of thorns. They then forced Jesus to carry his own cross to the place where he was going to be crucified. So Jesus died upon the cross. The skies went dark and a storm broke over the town. And now we have come to what this whole story is really about. Why did this actually happen? The fact that Jesus died on the cross actually has a very important meaning for you and me because Jesus was totally innocent. He had never, ever done anything wrong. So according to the law of God, he actually wasn't supposed to die because it's those who sin who have to die. When Jesus died, it was for our sakes. He wanted to make it possible for us to have eternal life. We were actually lost, each one of us, because of the sins we commit. But when Jesus died, he paid for all of those sins. He offered himself not only for those people that he knew or lived at that time. No, he offered himself for everyone who's ever lived. He thought about you and me when he gave up his own life. This shows us how much Jesus really loves us. We can receive forgiveness for our sins when we are sorry for the bad things we have done and ask for forgiveness. The story doesn't end there. Just a few days after Jesus died, something fantastic happened. 